Okay, folks, get ready for this month's Mab. That's my aquarium box. And I'm going to open the October box, give you a little preview of some of the stuff you're going to see for the aquatic experience and tell you about a new camera that I got. It's all coming up right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Pet Tech, and lately, uh, when I do a My Aquarium Box opening, I usually do it as part of a broader program I call the Mailbag. But to tell you the truth this month, I really didn't get that much in the mail. I saved up, and I actually got myself a little treat. This is a new camera. This is the Canon PowerShoot G7X Mark II. And uh, this, of course, is just a box. Now when I travel, I'm usually driving and carrying a lot of equipment. Really isn't a big deal, but this time I flew and uh, I just wanted something really, really small, but also had decent quality. This is a cool little camera. It's got a really small profile, nice little flip up screen in the back. And um, it's really black. <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing with it, but rather than going on and on about this camera and the stuff that it does, I thought I'd just show you yeah, a lot of the footage that you're going to see from the aquatic experience was shot on here, as well as my iPhone, which is kind of my go-to travel camera also. It's a really cool little camera. Really, my only beef with it so far is that the sound uh, gets kind of wonky. It's really easy to end up putting your fingers up here on top where the, where the microphone is and kind of messing up the sound that you hear. But I thought it shot pretty decent video. I, I had fun. Uh... Playing with a pocket-sized camera again. So the footage that you see from the aquatic experience uh, in the coming weeks will all mostly come from this thing. Now I'd like to start with a big, big thank you to the My Aquarium Box guys who flew me out there, who took care of me for those couple of days. We've been friends for a long time, and uh, I really like their product. I have fun opening it, opening it for you guys. I find a lot of this stuff really useful. And uh, I was honored to go up there and just kind of be a booth babe for the weekend. <laughs> or at least a uh, helping hand to some good friends. I had a really good time. I got to meet a lot of people. I think because I wasn't moving around so much, I, I got to meet more viewers. I had lots and lots of viewers come up to me and say, Hey, I like your videos. I appreciate what you do for the hobby and stuff like that. I mean, it was... It was humbling and it was it was great. It was really neat. Although the show seemed a little bit smaller than Chicago, I don't think the New Jersey people are quite used to it being up there yet. I felt like I met a lot more people. I had a lot of people coming up to me and talking to me about my videos and, and uh, how much they enjoyed it and even got some cookies. But the aquatic experience as a whole was was really, really fun. I had a good time and I can't wait to do it again. Now, over the next couple of weeks, you're going to see uh, more footage from the aquatic experience. I might mix in some other stuff, too, but whenever I go to an event like that, I like to shoot as much as I can. Then I, I come back and I really burn the midnight oil and just crank out video after video after video, and then I relax. This is the Peck Tech version of a break, a, a vacation. At any time I can make some a couple of videos ahead and get a couple of weeks ahead, I'll do that. And that gives me time to work on the various other projects that I've got to do. But with all that being said, let's get right into this month's My Aquarium Box. Now, as you know, Mike from Mass Aquariums likes to give me a little surprise gift. And last month, last month he gave me this saw uh, to open the box with. So let's try it out. Unsurprisingly, the saw cuts very well through tape. Tape is no match for the power of the saw. Uh, I always love my surprise gift from Mike. God knows what I've got in store for me this month. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what we got. Okay. All right, so right here on top, I see that Omega One's doing a photo contest. And uh, I got some information about that. Pretty cool. And I like Omega One food. It's good stuff. We've got a series of coupons from a couple of people. Let's see, we got... Oops, it's upside down. Uh, <laughs> Tidal Gardens, H2O Plants... Green Oasis Farms, and Beantown Aquatics. Pretty cool. 
We've got some information on my Aquarium Box Mega Box winners and possibilities. Of course, you can win a Mega Box, which is a bigger prize. Usually a light canister filter or something like that. Uh, it looks like Marineland's sponsoring that. But you can win a prize just by making an unboxing video like this. Just kind of unbox, say what all is in the package, and submit it to the guys with hashtag my aquarium box in the video title. You can also win a free box by posting a picture online of the contents of your box. And maybe saying what you liked about it. And here's the scorecard for this month. It looks like the value is... 5115 in product. And I got a little note here on the top. Okay. Mysterious note from Mike. Oh my. Seems that Mike has given me his balls to play with. Oh. <laughs> I see. Golf balls. Of course. Of course that's what he meant. Golf balls. Okay, Mike. Thanks. Man, so we sold a lot of these this weekend. These are little mitts that you can put on to clean the glass in your aquarium. And uh, they've got this fine texture to them. There's been a lot of times where I've had to kind of get my fingers in and I can't quite uh, get to my scraper or my magic eraser or whatever I'm using. So this will be a nice little alternative. I'm anxious to try this out. So next time I, next time I go to clean my aquariums, I'm going to Put these on and see how they work. So that'd be really handy. Huh, you get it? Handy? Anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, something else that we sold a lot of this weekend was food. Uh, my aquarium boxes started packaging up their own food. And these are freeze-dried brine shrimp. Really handy. Good, good way to break it up. Especially if you're feeding your fish a lot of dry food and pellets and stuff like that. Uh, you mix it up with some brine shrimp. I bet they'd appreciate that. What else do we have here? Oh, we have a sponge filter from Aquatop. Sponge filters are really super handy to have on hand. And uh, if you can, it's always good to have one of these kind of going in another aquarium. So if you need to set up a quarantine tank or something like that, you can pop it out and uh, just stick it in there and immediately have a cycled quarantine. Now, this is interesting. Something you don't think about a lot. Grease pencils. Now, if your favorite fish store is like mine, there's always something written in grease pencils on the glass. Now, this is a real handy way if you're breeding fish or doing something else to make a quick note on the aquarium. Oh, sounded Canadian just then. Quick note. They're real handy for making quick notes on your aquarium. Uh, maybe it's about a particular fish that maybe they've got medication or you feed them a, a special food every other Wednesday. <laughs> Whatever it is you need to remember, you can make a quick little note with this grease pistol on the glass. And uh, they're easy to clean too, just wipes right off. Alright, we also have, it looks like Kimmy Pure Green. Kimmy Pure Green is a, it's, well, it's, what does it say? Premium Activated Carbon High Grade Ion Exchange Resin. Really helps out with the water, the green product, especially made for uh, planted aquariums, which of course will be handy for me. And last but not least, we have three, eh, three cool little pieces of spider wood. I spent a lot of this weekend just kind of sitting next to this box, uh, a big box of tiny bits of spider wood, just kind of piecing them together and making them into all kinds of interesting shapes. I love playing spider wood Legos, just kind of putting them together and making them into you know, taking the three small pieces and making them into like a medium-sized piece or something else. Uh, they're also handy if you've got just a really tiny aquascape that you're working on. Uh, even these small pieces have just a lot of character. So, I love spiderwood. I'll take all of it I can get. And folks, there you have it. The October My Aquarium Box. Uh, be sure to check out the video I've got coming out this weekend is going to really kick off the Aquatic Experience video series. I'm going to be talking to Fluval about all their new products, and there's some cool stuff. I'm going to roll right into that video, but you'll see it this Sunday right here. That's all I got for you today. Until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.
Let me get ready for the October Mab. Hi. Hello. Hey, folks. This is no. That's not how I start the video. This is the Canon Power Shift. They're so much fun. And folks, there you. Oops. I can't concentrate with these balls in my hand. And folks, there you have it. The October. Uh, 